Pan's Labyrinth follows Ophelia, who was sent along with her mother to live with her new stepfather who was a captain in the Spanish army. During the night, she meets a fairy who takes her to a fawn who tells her that she's a princess, but must prove her royalty by surviving three gruesome tasks. If she succeeds, she'll be reunited with her true father, the king. Throughout the film, we see Ophelia with mystical beings. These creatures are part of what makes the film so unique and confusing. Many people ask themselves, were the creatures real or was it all in her head? It's my belief that she is just making up her own fantasy tale to cope with the harsh realities of life. The scene that points to this the most is this one. So when Ophelia dies at the end of the movie, she is actually going to heaven instead of the fantasy island. Now, moving on to the film's main theme. The main theme in the film is fascism. As Captain Vidal clearly represents fascism and what evil those ideals lead to, the violence and the bleak tone of the scenes that depict reality shows us this. Ophelia's fairy tale also mirrors the oppressed existence of those in fascist Spain. Even Ophelia's rose story is basically an allegory for oppressed people of Spain. The people of Spain are the men in the story, the blue flower is their political freedom, and the thorns around the rose is the fascist regime. So in the end, Pan's Labyrinth is about a girl who is struggling to escape the harsh reality of a fascist Spain. Do you agree with my explanation of Pan's Labyrinth? Also, if you don't, comment down below any alternate explanations of the film and any more major themes.